What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. I'm here with Alpha today. Hey, are you excited? Just look at that face. He's obviously excited. But today we're actually at Locals and we're actually going to... It's actually pretty big Locals today. It's pretty busy, which is really nice. And it's really cool because I haven't played Locals in a while. And today I'm actually playing Dino Morphia. That deck is pretty much like my pet deck. And it's a deck that I kind of been obsessed with even though that i've been telling myself i want to get off it problem is every single time i play it i seem to do well the last three times i came to play it i went first place second place and then first place again so for some reason i just i'm stuck playing that deck and i feel like i have to play it again so we're gonna try it out for one last time today and we're gonna see how well we do and i switched up the build so i'm gonna be showing you guys what the build looks like in just a minute here but i switched it up to be a lot more trap focused and a built to essentially beat today's meta because of course the ban list just came out it's now legal it's now live so for that reason i wanted to make sure the deck was prepared to play against decks like purely play against decks like unchained and i really want to be as competitive as possible hopefully today i get to show you guys how competitive it can be so you guys are going to see it's actually pretty standard here i'm actually on three diplo today because i'm focusing more on the trap build and just i really want to get the fusions out as fast as possible and you guys can see like i'm playing the fenrir's playing frost and then I'm playing a ton of traps. I'm not playing too many hand traps in this build just because I feel like a lot of hand traps are really low impact right now. And so Soul of the Supreme King is absolutely insane. So I'm maxing out on this. I guess Imperm is really good because it's a hand trap and a regular trap for you. And then Judgment as well with Wannabe is really good. And I'm on two Ferret Flames. So this build you guys can see is going to be a lot more back row heavy. I feel like people are not on evenly matched as much anymore. And so when you're not on evenly matched, you're fine. But on top of that, you have cards like Solemn Judgment anyways. And then the extra deck here is pretty standard as well. I'm on two Zark because we're maxing out on the trap and honestly it doesn't hurt to resolve it more than once right so we have crystal wing clear wing psych again just in case I ever have an ash with a Rexstrom. this is just a game winner for me and then I'm playing Dolka and Lagia I actually wanted to cut them but the reason I chose to play them actually was because I'm now playing uh, two alert so it makes it a lot more live which is really nice I think alert is really good for the mid to late game for the grind and then here's my side deck real quick nothing too crazy here I am playing the Bistiels just because I feel like in today's format with Unchained Bistiels are really really powerful but i did see that there's going to be a purely player here so i might change these for gamma seals i don't know we're gonna find out alpha buddy what are you on what are you on what are you on no that doesn't tell me anything what, what are you on that also doesn't tell me anything what are you on how did you hit the ash okay what are you actually on Oh, 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 he saw it! Yeah! RDA, RDA. All right, so round one over here, you guys are going to see we're playing up against Marincess. Now, I go first. He uses Ash on the Prosperity, but being able to set four cards is absolutely insane. You guys are going to see we're going to be able to set up our Rexstrom, and it's very difficult for Marincess to play around a card like Rexstrom. So, you guys are going to see turn by turn over here, I'm just going to be able to outgrind him at this point. He has Book of Eclipse for the Rexstrom, but it's in the Imperm column. So for that reason, Imperm, I use it on his monster, even though his monster is already negated. But it's essentially just being used so that the Book of Eclipse doesn't resolve. So pretty much that's going to round it out for game one because I just have way too much on board. Game two here, you guys are going to see that he goes first. Now he makes a blue slug. I have the Imperm for it and I basically just dare him to have the extender. Turns out he doesn't have the extender, so I'm able to just summon Theresia. I set four cards here, make my Zark. You guys are going to see I end up making Rexstrom as well. And at this point, it's just really hard for him to play through. It. I was actually gonna lose my Zark in the end phase because of the soul effect So I end up using it for a tribute summon at Fenrir and that's way too much for him to handle Okay, so we just finished our round one and we actually got it 2-0 and there's actually still like 18 minutes left on the clock Which is absolutely insane because Dino Morphia has always been known as one of those decks that goes into time Plays really slow But the thing that I really like about my build is the fact that you're playing the soul of the Supreme King Summoning Zark doing some big damage you guys might have seen in game two having Zark on the board Just pushing for 4,000 damage is absolutely insane then you have stuff like Fenrir and whatnot to push for damage so I really made it so that this deck doesn't lose to what it actually loses to which is time right so hopefully this luck continues hopefully I can continue playing the way I did I feel like I played well I don't think I misplayed at any point which is really nice the only deck that I'm scared of today is purely and I think there's one purely player at our locals today by the way here's a here's a quick look at our locals pretty busy day today it's a pretty busy day so hopefully I don't see the purely player because I'm not prepared I decided to stick with the bestials and the Bissio stuck into Pearly, and I'm not playing the Kaijus. Uh, in hindsight, though, the Kaijus would have also been good against Marincess because Marincess does put up, like, you know, that big body Argonaut, and uh, Kaijus would have been good there, too. So, hmm, maybe. I don't know. We're going to test out the Bissio's today, but I'm pretty happy with the deck so far.
I'll activate Runic Destruction, and then I'll chain Fire, Curses, and Slumber. So what happens is uh, when the effect resolves, I actually just take your deck, and I go like this. I hate Runic. 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 So for round three over here, you guys are going to see that we're playing up against Tier Limits, and Tier Limits is actually a deck that I wasn't expecting to see, but he ends up breaking just setting a single card. You guys are going to see I have Prost, I have Fenrir, I have Theresia, I'm going to be able to set, I think, four cards, which is absolutely insane here. Now, he does have the Kaiju for the Fenrir, as you guys are going to see, so that's kind of an out, but I still have access to all my traps, I still have access to Catragina, which is eventually going to make me a Rexstrom, and Rexstrom is just really, really powerful. Now, you guys are going to see, he doesn't really have much to do, he ends up missing off of his mills, so for that reason, I can just actually go into battle phase here. And it ends up being just enough damage for game. We finished our round three. So round two, I'm just going to give you guys the full breakdown here. Round two, we ended up playing against uh, Runic, uh, Runic Chimera. And bro, I hate the Runic cards. I can't, I can't do anything against that deck. When they keep putting monsters on the board, and I just can't push for game. And then on top of that, the Illusionist monsters can't be destroyed in battle. And I don't have a lot of spot removal, right? So the Illusionist monster just sitting there. And you know Dynamorphia loses in time. Unlucky guys, I could not win our round two. Our round three though was against Tier Limits, and Tier Limits was actually a pretty good matchup. Uh, game one, he bricked, so that was pretty good. Game two actually didn't go as well, but game three, I drew a Bistial and I had Rexstrom, so I could have Rexstrom, Bistial, and I can't remember, I had one more card, but basically couldn't out the board. I think it was Fenrir, it might have been Fenrir. So, you know, that's just so good, right? I'm, I'm gonna put you guys down, okay? So uh, that's my round two and round three. So I'm at X1 right now, two and one. We need to go three and one to top today. I think this deck is good. It's just been some bad matchup. Runic's a bad matchup. Even like Tier Limits is a bad matchup, but I got lucky I drew well. So uh, yeah, we gotta go into our round four and hopefully our round four goes well because we need it to top. So round four over here is the deciding round. We are two and one at this point. We need to go three and one to top. You guys are gonna see the Rika player gets to go off here. I don't open a single hand trap. And when Rika goes off, I'm not gonna lie, it goes off. He's going to be able to set up a ton of negates, the Regulus negate, the Rika monster in his graveyard, and then he has the bounce, which is the Link monster on the board right now. Now, he negates my wannabe in the end phase, which is cool. I really wanted to bait out some sort of negate, but I go Fenrir here, try to bait out a few negates, and then you guys are going to see he also has Ash, and it's just way too much for me to play around. Like, Rico, once it sets up, and then you have hand traps on top of the setup, it's just way too much. My Prosper didn't resolve, my Wannabe didn't resolve, my Fenrir didn't get to stick on the board for too long. It was just way too much for me to handle, and that's how game two went as well. Guys, what what is what is Rika? I I don't even know what that deck does. Game one, I got 2 0 so fast. I've, I don't think I've ever been 2 0 that fast. It sucks, because we don't end up topping, which is absolutely, that's so sad. Bad, bro game one I, I i didn't drew that well like i didn't draw that well at all i drew no hand traps so he was just going off he ended on the board of like regulus and that link two that rika has that like excavates three and you can special summon up to two plants that you excavate is absolutely nuts bro like i'm just gonna go on a rant here because bro what is rika man rika i've never seen it do stuff like that before or maybe i have but you know i just you know i just kept thinking rika's a rogue deck it's not that serious when it gets done to you like it's crazy like i I don't know, man. We finished two and two. I mean, I did say earlier in the video that uh, I was looking to retire this deck. I was looking to find a reason to retire this deck, and I think I found my reason, right? Guys, Dynamorphia is still a good deck. Listen, don't get me wrong. The, the nice thing about this deck is I feel like I didn't misplay. I feel like the deck actually performed pretty well. Now, you guys might be thinking, Spanko, how could it perform well? You went two and two. The thing is, we lost to really bad matchups. We lost to Runic, which, again, we could have won had we just been able to attack and do damage. Like, that's literally it. And then, um, and against, against, Rika, I don't know, man. I feel like I just drew bad. Um, like, my game two, I think my hand was, like, Fenrir, Theresia, Theresia, Imperm, Ferret Flames. And I think that was it. And, um, yeah, it kind of sucks, I'm going to be honest. I thought Fenrir would put in more work for me, but Fenrir was very, actually, lame. And the thing is, like, okay, I don't want to be salty, but when you draw Imperm and Ash, like, my opponent, the Rika opponent, had Imperm plus Ash, plus he had his full combo. So, like, Imperm plus Ash plus full combo is insane so um yep two and two guys today i'm sorry i couldn't bring it home i apologize i'll try to do better next time i'm gonna be playing something better next time dino morphia you know what it was a good deck while it lasted 
I played it for a while. My streak has finally ended of popping with Dinomorphia. And now it just means we're gonna have to do something new and I'm gonna bring you guys something new. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. I promise you, I promise you the vlogs that I'm bringing you guys in the future is gonna be me topping, okay? No more of this two and two stuff, none of that. We're only gonna be winning from now on. So we're only gonna be taking Ws. And so that's really all I wanna say, guys. It's really busy over there. It's getting really late. It's like 10, 20 p.m. I wanna go home. I still haven't eaten yet. So uh, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you with that. It's Banco signing out. Peace.